Winston Churchill is in danger of being cancelled by the Welsh Government. The man widely regarded as the greatest Briton of all time has been named in a report as part of an anti-racist Wales action plan. Roads and buildings named after Churchill, Horatio Nelson and even Mahatma Gandhi could soon be renamed. I am joined by Tom Giffard, who's the Welsh Conservative spokesperson for culture, tourism and sport. Thank you very much, Tom. Great to have you on the show. Is this a disgrace that Winston Churchill is being cancelled and quite possibly being called a racist? Well, I think this is ridiculous, Patrick. And you look at some of the names on this list, Winston Churchill, who's mentioned Horatio Nelson. These are some of the people that have made Britain what it is today, defeated fascism and won world wars. The very fact that we live in a free democratic society and we can have these debates is exactly because of people like Winston Churchill. So for the Welsh government to kind of revise history in this way and cancel uh, a, a, a one of our greatest heroes in Britain, I think is an absolutely ridiculous decision. Yeah, well, I mean, why on earth does the Welsh government think that it's the right thing to do? Would they not maybe be better sorting out the NHS, which is, as far as I can tell, knackered? Well, I think the main reason uh, we're discussing this today is is more about what we're not discussing. We're not discussing the fact that on the most important issues in Wales, whether it's the economy, education or healthcare, you know, Wales is at the bottom of those league tables in terms of productivity. So this is a distraction technique, I think, from the Welsh government who really want to distract from that poor record. So instead, we're having these debates, you know, about Winston Churchill and about racism, judging people from the past by the standards of today, which just isn't the way that history works and it isn't the way that commemoration works. Yeah, but is there, I mean, is there public clamour for this? Can, can Welsh Labour say we are just doing what the public want? Every single day someone wakes up on Churchill road and they look at it and they think about the plight of the Bengal famine? Uh, no. Um, I think what Labour are doing in Wales in particular, you've got to remember Mark Drakeford was the only cabinet minister in the Welsh government to have endorsed Jeremy Corbyn and, and the Labour Party in Wales uh, are following an extreme left mm. sort of ideology, a clique of people. And these are the people that they've been listening okay. to in this in this consultation. It's not good enough.